Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're going to be looking at another question relating to row level security and the steps that you need to take in order to implement that. We're going to jump right into the Power BI desktop and walk through how to set up row level security. We're going to publish out to the Power BI service and then from there we can assign the roles. Let's go ahead and get started. So here I am in the Power BI desktop and I have this basic data model where I have a geography table and a sales table. You can see the relationship here is a one to many relationship with a single filter direction. And as we go to set up row level security, the first thing we have to have before we can do anything is we have to have data. So step one, of implementing row level security is we actually have to have data in our data model. Once we have the relationship set up, we can then move forward with creating a role inside of the Power BI desktop. And so when you're implementing row level security, you have to start in the Power BI desktop to set up these roles. And then once you publish out to the Power BI service, you can assign that specific role to whoever you want to, whether it's using a individual's email address or an Azure Active Directory group. So to start off, we have our model here and I'm just gonna go over to the data view so we can get an understanding of what this data looks like. So you can see here that my geography table just has a list of countries here and you can see that um, it's a text data type. We also have a sales territory key. That's what the relationship is built on. And so that's a numeric value here. It is unique because it is the one side of the relationship. And so I'm going to show you two different ways that we can implement this. We can create row level security on whichever one of these columns that we want to. It just depends on what your application is and how you want to filter your data. But one thing to understand is as we implement row level security, it will transfer in the direction of the relationship. And we'll see that here in a second. So I'm going to go back over to my modeling view and I'm going to go up here to the top where it says manage roles. So up here at the top, it says manage roles. And I've already pre-created these, but I'm going to show you how to create them. So we're going to click manage roles. This is how we create our roles here. And so the first role is called the United States role. And so when you create a role, it's going to use a DAX expression to filter the data. So the role name is over here on the left hand side. Then you're going to apply the expression to the table that you want. In this case, I'm going to start with the geography table. So you're going to click the little ellipsis here, and this is going to allow you to add a filter. So the way row level security works is it's going to filter a specific column or columns based on the criteria you give it. You can see over here on the right hand side, here's our DAX expression. So where the country region name is the United States. Now, when I build this off of the geography table, so the table is important. So I'm telling it, go to the geography table, filter down to where the country is United States. That's the first role. Once that role is created and you save it, you can then go to the view as, so view as up here at the top to view that role. So I'm going to click view as, and I'm going to select the United States. Now, when I do this and I go to the data view, what you're going to see is that I now in the geography table can only see the United States because the filter is based off of this column right here where the country region name is the United States. So it has now filtered this table down and this is the only information that I can see. This is how you implement row level security. And we can also see that the sales territory key is five. What's interesting 
is that when I go to the sales table and I go to the sales territory key, the only one that you're going to see here is the number five because row level security follows the filter direction. So it filtered from my dimension table to my fact table and that is why we only see five because that is related to the United States. Now, if we go back here, so I'm gonna click stop viewing here at the top, we can see that all of our sales territory keys come back one through 10. Now, if you implement row level security on the fact table, so if I go back into manage roles and I go to United States sales role here, notice that currently there is no filter applied to this. So it is blank and we are gonna create it. So I'm gonna select the ellipsis here on the sales table to add a filter to a specific column. So I'm gonna click add filter and I'm gonna go down here to the sales territory key and we know that the United States is number five. So I'm just gonna put the number five here. So where the sales territory key is five. So what you're gonna see is that when you implement row level security from the fact table with a one to many single filter direction relationship, as we see here, it's not going to flow upstream. So if I click view as here at the top and go to view that United States role, so the United States sales role, I put the filter on the sales table here and I click okay. When I go to the data view, what you're gonna see is that, once again, we see only the sales territory key of five, which is good. But watch what happens when we go to the geography table. When I go to the geography table, we can now see all of the countries that are available. This is because of the filter direction. So when we implement row level security on the dimension table, which filters the fact table, both of them get filtered. If we implement it only on the fact table, it's not going to flow in the opposite direction. I'm gonna go ahead and stop viewing. And let's go see how this looks in the Power BI service. So once you publish your report to the Power BI service, you're then going to go to the workspace where it's located. So I've put this in my workspace here and you're gonna to go to the data set. So here is the data set here. And that is where we're going to add security. So I'm gonna click the ellipsis here on the data set, and I'm gonna to go to security. This is where you're going to add members to the group. So notice I have my two roles here, the United States and the United States sales. So this is where you're going to add your individual people to this specific role, or you can add a group of people by adding an Azure directory group. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. You plan to create a report that will display sales data from the last year for multiple regions. You need to restrict access to individual rows of the data on a per region basis by using roles which four actions should you perform in sequence? To answer, we're gonna drag and drop. So let's look at our actions here. We have published the report, assign users to the role, add a filter to the report, create a role definition, and import data into the Power BI desktop. Well, first and foremost, we have to have data inside of our model. So before we can do anything with row level security, we have to have data. So this is going to be the first step. Import the data into the Power BI desktop. So that's first and foremost. So now the next thing that we know is that we have to create this role inside the Power BI desktop. And as we create this role, this is essentially adding a filter to the report. So as we look at these two 
it's a little confusing because technically we are adding a filter to the report, but the word create a role definition. So this one right here, create a role definition includes adding that filter to the report. In this case where it says just add a filter to the report, so we don't wanna actually filter the report down to individual data. We want it to be dynamic. And so we would not actually filter the report when we're creating row level security. We're gonna create that role definition so we're going to eliminate add filter to a report because the role definition is the filter and it's dynamic. We wouldn't actually filter our entire report for each person because then each person would then have to have their own report and that doesn't make sense. So step number two would be to create the role definition. Then once we've created our role definition, the next step is that we're going to publish the report to the Power BI service. So this would be step three, publishing the report. And finally, once we publish the report, we're gonna to go to the data set and go to security, and we're going to assign those users to the specific role that they need to be in, which in this case would be the region. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.